So the first thing I use is this, which is a Trapper's Notebook passport size. Um, this is probably my least structured um, notebook. And um, this is what I would kind of call almost my bullet journal-esque um, item or part of my like planning journaling lineup. Um, it's mostly like for to-do lists um, and random things I need to remember. Um, I have this little card holder in there that I don't really use for anything except for some like coffee cards. Um, but in the actual journal, you'll see if anything, I do a weekly um, bullet journal type list with, you know, to do's, tasks, anything like that. Um, but I do that by week because I find I don't need to do it daily. Um, and then, for example, I pop something in like this, which was like my meal planning for Christmas time and stuff like that. Um, so this is really kind of as and when I need it. Um, I put in quotes maybe that I come across or anything like that, just like a super commonplace style notebook with kind of bullet journal elements in it. Um, so that kind of comes around with me. And then the pen I use is a Caveco uh, Lilliput um, pen, which is just this really small pen, fountain pen. And I've got Caveco gray ink in it, which I've just smeared all over the pen. Um, and that just fits in there nicely. So it's a really nice, simple thing that I just carry around with me every day. And the next part of my journaling lineup is this whole stack of things. Uh, this is another traveler's notebook, and this is the um, blue standard size. Uh, and I've got a little um, scarab beetle charm that my dad got me in, in the British Museum one day. Um, and this is, it's not held in right now, but this is what's become um, this year, my kind of morning pages, my like daily journaling, um, stream of conscious journaling, nothing serious, just whatever pops to mind. And um, every day I do two pages, uh, just about two pages. And every day I swap ink colors. So I'm moving between, um, gray and blue, which I keep in these two Coveco Sport pens. Um, and each day I just write for, it takes about 20 minutes to half an hour, maybe 15 minutes if I'm going quite quickly. Um, and it's not meant to be seen. It's not meant to be kind of read back upon. Um, it's just kind of something to get my creative juices flowing and to, um, to just kind of let it out, whatever's going on. Um, and I did this at the start of the year. So the first entry was the 21st of March, you can see. Uh, and I've gone through and done it for, yeah, basically the entire year this year, which was absolutely wonderful. And then I'm archiving it in this, um, this is the Traveler's Notebook binder, which has five little metal parts for you to um, archive away the books. And then this is the last one of this year, which I will archive away. This insert is the Traveler's Notebook lightweight paper insert. Um, it is super thin, works really nicely with my fountain pen. But what I will say is that over the course of this year, I have more time to daily journal for that amount of time. Um, but next year, I don't think I will have the same amount of time. So I've decided to change the insert to the classic white MD paper, which is number three insert and I'm just going to do one page whereas before I would do front and back of a page and now I'm just going to do one side of a page well, which will cut it down to about 10-15 minutes um, so it's just something so that I can keep up the habit without when I don't have as much time to do the journaling because as you see I have a, a lot of journals so um, that is the second part of my lineup and my second traveler's notebook and um, this is actually a Delphonics um, little pen pouch you will know Delphonics if you if you're in the journaling planning community you'll know Delphonics because they do the um the equipment pouches that everyone uses but um yeah so that's it's been a really a really great thing I'm really kind of proud that I've managed to kind of do that kind of journaling this year um because it's been a tough year for everyone so it's good to have a um look back at that in that way so that's my second piece of kit um <clears throat> Coming up third, and um, this is my Hobonichi Weeks. And um, this is um, 
This is the Porto Yoshida Hobonichi case, um, which is from 2018 or 2019, I believe. It's two years ago, this one. Um, the newer ones have, the, they have a different design every year. And the new, this one I liked because you can see the cover um, through the inside of the notebook. Um, and this cover is the 20, 2020, uh, this is the NT Tate collaboration cover, which I really, really liked. And I've actually really enjoyed this one. Um, the weeks, I kind of classify this as like my health and wellness journal is probably the best way to describe how I use it. Um, the This year I started doing um, a photo a day, which is, um, I just take a literally a straight on selfie every single day as a kind of, I don't know, a memory of, of how I looked that day. Um, and then in the actual week itself, I can show you fill that one. This is how I've kind of been setting it up at the moment. Um, I think this will change next year because I found I haven't really been using it as much as I wanted to. Um, so I track things, help them on us. So here I'm tracking like usually calories or a workout or my steps. Here is my mood. And um, these stamps are from Everyday Explorers Co. This is my water intake, which is probably what will change next year because um, I don't really use it that much. Um, this is food and meals that I eat. Again, might change this a bit. And then these are habits down here that I'm tracking. So again, it's like a little bit of the bullet journaling techniques coming through. Um, and this is another one I carry with me most every day. Um, so all the, this one and the two travelers notebooks will probably move around with me most days. Um, but this one, um, I think I'm gonna play with it a bit more. I've always played with the setup of the weeks and you can see I don't actually manage to fill it in every day. But then there are some weeks that I've do, done really well. I was doing a lot of stamping. But then I found the stamping took too much time. So it's a work in progress. This I do love this journal and I love carrying it around. And I love this um, uh, cover for it, but still tinkering with what I'm gonna use it for. But I definitely will continue on doing the picture a day and post pacing that in. And um, this is the cover I got for uh, 2021, which I cannot remember who it is. Let me see. Uh, it's the Hiroshi Hitano cover, which is this beautiful photograph which is obviously shining in the light but it's a photograph of uh, flower petals on water so it's really beautiful so I'm super excited to get back into this one it's just a regular weeks um but I love using it but I'm still tinkering with how I'm gonna actually use it every single day and be happy with it I'm thinking I might make sure to set up a month worth of weeks um at a time so that I don't have to spend too much time setting up um, but yeah, I love it. It's my third year using it. This will be my, 2021 will be my third year using it, but I still haven't found that really good daily use that I'm keep reaching for it. So work in progress, but I still love it. Uh, and then the big boy, well, the, the main, main stage we'll say. So this is what started it all for me. Um, which is the Hobonichi um, original. This is the A6 size, and this coming year, 2021, will be my third year using it. Um, this is my 2019 one. I usually just get the solid color covers, as you can see. Um, it was my first year using it, so I'll just give it a quick flick. So it's, this is like, I guess memory keeping is probably the best way to describe how I use this. Um, so I use like washi tapes, um, brush pens, whatever in this. And it's uh, just a, a way to keep memories. I don't do anything. It changes from day to day. I can write, you know, loads like this or nothing at all. Here I use some Posca pens and some writing. Um, pictures pasted in, more pictures, stamps. So it's very, just quick click, it's very kind of as I want to use it or how I want to use it. And here we have nothing. Um, so it's day by day I use it, I paste things in and I just kind of do it to, you know, keep track of memories and things that happen. Sometimes it's just one word, sometimes it's just one line, sometimes it's like full of text. Um, but it's something I enjoy so much and have enjoyed so much. And today being the last day of the year, 
it's so fantastic to kind of look back at this year and then look back at last year as well and then look forward to next year. Um, it's been a tough year, obviously, but as I'm finishing the 2019 journal, um, I'm so happy with everything that I've written in this and all the good things I've chosen to highlight um, and all I've done. So it feels like I have an achievement in this book when it feels like we haven't really achieved much <laughs> as a society. Um, so yeah, and the, I think the reason why Hobonichi kind of appealed to me is that, you know, it's that almost everyday ethos that they have. You know, you fill in, almost, you don't have to do it every day. You fill it in, you know, as and when you go, you can catch up if you want to, all those kinds of things. And I loved in one of the promotional Hobonichi videos, I think at the beginning of this year, maybe last year, one of the people who used Hobonichi, they had a blank page and they were like, oh, I must have been so busy this day because I didn't have time to fill in the blank page. So even though I haven't filled every single page, I'll, I like to think of that as well. Like, oh, it must have been a day I was very, very busy. Um, and then this year is also the year, first year I started doing a photo a day, um, which is especially challenging staying at home all the time because how many pictures can you take of your own house? But um, I tried to take a photo a day of something that happened in that day. Um, and it's been super, super fun to do and to look back on some and highlight something from one day of that um, of every month. And I've again, I try to do every single day, but you know, I've missed some days, but that's okay. Um, it's been great to be able to look back at this. And I think that's something I will continue into 2021. Um, and these photos and the other one in my Hobonichi weeks, I do um, use a HP sprocket um, to print those out, which I, have, I don't have over with me. But um, yeah, I just print them out and then stick them on. And it's it's super great. It's, it's you know, if all my other um, journals I've just showed you stopped, this is the one I will continue. This is the one I will always prioritize because it's what began my <coughs> stationary and journaling journey and it's the one I, I really really treasure um, and I'm actually thinking of having to get a uh, fireproof box for these because the thought of anything happening to these is really really scary <laughs> but um, <clears throat> you can also see it's not super chunky it's it's a regular amount of chunk I think um, compared to the empty year um, for this year in 2021 I, this is the I can't think of, they always have like a cute name for everyone, but it's just the light mint green here and then the blue on the outside. And then I actually got an Astro Boy um, pencil board this year because I thought it was quite nice. Um, and yeah, and I usually, when I finish and I archive, I do keep it in the cover because I, you know, I get, tend to get a new cover every year if I like the designs and then I'll keep the pen from that year as the thing that keeps it shut. Um, and then archive it away. Um, I have so much stationery, so many pens and things that I use to decorate these journals that um, this usually, it, this has to be something I do at home. It's not something I can really carry around with me or what I really want to carry around with me unless I'm traveling and then I'll take something with me. Um, but um, yeah, I use all sorts in it, you name it, pencil, pen. Uh, I haven't watercolored, but I do use brush pens, washi tapes, you name it, they all go in here. Um, so that's the Hobonichi A6 original. This is the English version as well. Um, something else actually I tried to do this year, um, which I didn't manage to do very well, but I will this year, that's last year, uh, is the My 100 at the back. I tried to do it like a kind of running list of, if I can find it, a running list of um, movies, TV shows and things. Is it in the back or is it in the front? There it is. Uh, movies, TV shows, theaters and concert, theater and concerts that I went to, um, which I struggled to keep up with, but I'm gonna try again um, next year. Uh, it might be something that I'll have to kind of make a note in my phone and then transfer it through because I would have liked to have um, kept that up uh, because that my 100 page is nice, but what to track in it is interesting, is kind of difficult. But anyway, that's something I'll try again next year uh, and just keep improving and uh, having fun with these amazing journals. And then last but not least is the newest edition, which it says it right here. It's the Hobonichi Five Year Techo. Um, so this, it doesn't come like this. This is 
how I packaged it up. But um, this is something new for this year that I, I was, I thought about for a while, um, but this year, it was one of those things where I kind of like rewarded myself with it. So when I first started using the journals and I really loved it, then I was like, okay, I'll keep going and I'll expand my what I, what I use. But this year I said to myself, okay, if I do say the Traveler's Notebook journaling and then my regular Hobo G every single day and keep up that habit really well, I'll reward myself with adding something else to the setup because you want to be realistic about what you can and can't do with your time. And, and I wanted to make sure it was something that I would actually use and enjoy and, you know, succeed at because you don't want to spend money on something like this and then not succeed at it. So the plan for this, I'll just show you. Just, there's so many videos online of people with them. And so I won't go into too much detail. And this is a, this book band is from Hobonichi as well. They sell them in all different colors, but it matches quite nicely with the leather cover of this. Because to be honest, I don't really like the actual cover of the five-year tetra because it's this brown color. But anyway, so I got this. This is the natural leather cover. Um, so if you don't know, the five-year tetra has uh, one space every day for five years. Um, and what I'm planning to do with it is this is the, the pen I'm using. It's going to be a Twisby Eco uh, T. Um, and I'll change the ink color every year. Um, so this year it is the Sailor Shikiori. This is, I can't think of the name of the current ink, but um, yes, yeah, the Sailor Shikiori ink. And I have I have them all picked out already for the five years. But basically, what I'm doing is keeping this at my bedside table. And before I go to bed, I'm going to just write here in this space, something that, ha something that happened that day, like one line, 140 characters tweet length. And then on this side, I'm going to write some gratitude to something I'm grateful for that day. Um, and that's it for the five-year tetro. Um, and I just want it to be something that's next to, next to my bed that it's just like 30, 30, 60 seconds. So there's no pressure at all um, just to write down something and just to kind of see what I get up to over the year. And um, this is the pencil board I'm going to use with it, this guy. Um, and my first entry will be tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited about. Um, and then this will clip in here like that. And that's it. That's what's gonna be next year. And I actually have a post-it note, which is a quote from Jessica Heesh, which says, who we are this, in this moment is not who we'll be in five years. And I came across that and I, loved that because it was just around the time I bought this and so it was a great kind of moment to <laughs> think about who we are in this moment who we won't be in five years so I can't wait to see who I'm going to be in uh, <laughs> five years at the end of this journal but yeah it just closes like that so that is it that is my um, full collection I'll pull out all the 2020 items so we can see them all together and um, so yeah so that's a lot of it we have two travelers notebooks we have open each weeks open each original five-year techo and um, and that's my setup for 2021 and beyond um, don't plan on adding anything else to the collection this year uh, apart from possibly a knitting journal which will just be a I don't think it'll go in a travelers notebook I think it will just be a um, notebook that I have that I'll fill in for that but that's the setup so far. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, any questions, throw them in the comments. Love to answer the questions. And uh, I love to watch these videos and go around and look at other people's. So yeah, happy journaling and happy uh, 2021.